Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. The time before that? And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. <sighs> Don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the medbay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think we should do? What do I think we should do? Besides find ourselves a captain who knows how to make decisions? I was asking your opinion. My opinion is that there is no good option. Whatever you choose will be wrong. And it's your fucking job to choose, Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or... Any other fucking thing? How sure are you? Jeez, after the last few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan! We run for cover, in there! Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn.
16! Turning now! in the debris field. It's shit pirates! You did it, Barsmang! Fucking legend! <laughs> Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil's our doctor. He's what we have. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Scanners aren't picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Last doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. Which ship is which? It's all blasted to for Lota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. 
with a belter ship at the center. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man and a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? <laughs> Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. Bossman, you probably noticed me Baratna's been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... he's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah, ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But, thought you should know. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Rayon, 
How's that leg doing? A little sore still, but better. Thanks again for saving it, Cap. A little sore? It should be gone entirely. Unless you think we can eat it or use it as a torpedo. Because we may have to, with how low our supplies are. We'll figure something out. Got some juice here. We're running low after the past week. Any longer in the crash couch and I'll stop pissing that stuff. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap. What was that? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders, so everything's fine. Maya, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, she's gonna hurt herself if she... Wait. Hey there! Do you wanna lie down for a minute? Do you wanna fucking die?! Oh, no. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? Because they think they own the Void. Had to throw their weight around once the Belters entered their territory. Of Course they did. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and Brass. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss man, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Cox said those coordinates were valuable. 
but Cox started talking just to get out of the mess he made. You been near a brig lately? Since you save his ass, Owala never shuts up. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Hey, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Hmm, another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. Maya and Khan start fighting, there won't be any ship left to go back to. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me? Of course I was. The next time you go up against Khan, at least bring a torpedo. Hey. I did okay without the heavy weaponry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. That went surprisingly well. Yalek Pashang! If there's one thing all belters can agree on, is that the moldy belters kick ass. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The FCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inyas say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! I've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. 
Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Baka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. A long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. No. That the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants.
This one looks like an inner. Guess Toussaint and I have one thing in common. Keeping a crew of belters and inners from killing each other. Yuri Motek, first gunner. Lucky he missed me. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough! I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There!
you did, it worked. Well, I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Being captain isn't all fun and torpedoes. Sometimes it means having to talk to Khan. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Whoever took Khan's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than I am. True belters take water, air, and sleep wherever they can find them. Say anything else about these two, but they are true belters. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. What's on your mind, Captain? I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. Mm. 
bursting with umami. Exceptional. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. While Virgil's busy cooking, I could search around his quarters for some answers to who he really is. He just can't help himself. Say what you will about Virgil, but he takes his job as ship's medic very seriously. The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. The rest is a mystery. At least we've only had one limb replacement so far. You're welcome, Rayan. Alright. What is the good doctor hiding? For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Virgil's private computer. Must be something here. Virgil is too smart to leave his encryption key lying around. Virgil grew up on Luna, but he's not like some inners. He actually thinks of Belters as people. Cox gave out these signing bonuses to the crew once we all joined up. They're protected, but if I know Cox, he kept the passwords around somewhere. For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. I'll need to get into that data queue to know more. Virgil grew up on Luna, but he's not like some inners. He actually thinks of Belters as people.
The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. The rest is a mystery. I'll need to get into that data queue to know more. Cox gave out these signing bonuses to the crew once we all joined up. They're protected, but if I know Cox, he kept the passwords around somewhere. Say what you will about Virgil. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. You're right. I can't stand that twangy acoustic for Lota. Typical close-minded belter. If you change your mind, you can give it a listen. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait! Um... About that moment in the airlock. Yes? Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. I noticed how terrified you were. Must have been your first time facing real danger. And my first time comforting my terrified captain. I'm here if you need to talk, by the way. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was Belter third base. <sighs> you know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and settle it. I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall.
Wow. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. Ah, Falota! Maya is the one who stole Khan's barbecue sauce. That is... Not at all surprising, actually. Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his demotion. Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Telling Rayan to put that thing away. Now look at it. Anderson Station changed everything. I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. He showed me. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? <sighs> Sorry, Maya. Sleep, Captain. Pashang. Are you watching me? No. Now sleep. Nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> 